not me starting a vlog looking presentable <laughs> hello guys happy wednesday um i am filming content today for my channel um i am filming a house update video which will probably be up before this one goes live so i will link it on the end screen or down below somewhere um i'm also filming an update on my um handbag um so it's my chanel classic flap um just showing you guys how it's like wearing uh, what i keep in it etc but i also wanted to jump on here and keep the fashion content alive and just show you um this dress that i picked up from pretty little thing so i had bought it for a wedding but now that it's come i've this for me is just a bit too much for a wedding so i'm just going to keep it for summer holidays if i ever get any and other things like that so um i will link it down below in case any of you are interested in it um but yeah it is a absolute beaut um and if you can see the back possibly not but i'll see if i can get a shot for you in my filming room so let's head on down there now can you see the back? Yeah, I didn't pop the tag properly, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, and now I'm going to get filming, I guess. This is going to be my backdrop. Fortunately, you can see the colour wall, uh, the feature wall in the background. So I'm hoping that that doesn't show up in the video. So let me get that sorted. Um, get all my content filmed and then I am making dinner. It is Monday night and I am on dinner duty. So I've been spending the last 45 minutes watching um, ribeye steak tutorials on YouTube because I've actually never pan seared a steak. Um, would you believe I've actually never cooked a steak in my life, but I've eaten a lot of good steak. So I'm going to figure out how to do that. I think I've pretty much got the technique down. Um, word to Gordon Ramsay and who's this lady here? Um, uh, chameleon grill. Chameleon girl. Okay, thanks, chameleon girl. Um, so. <laughs> The technique that I'm going with is, as I said, pan searing it and I'm also going to um, probably bake it in the oven for a while because we probably want ours a bit more well done and all the tutorials I've seen so far, people are having it rare and I am African, okay? <laughs> um, so we're going to have with that some mashed potatoes, which let me show you. Um, I've got them prepped and ready to go as well as some steamed where are we? steamed asparagus and hopefully I can get the missus to go out and get some red wine maybe some peppercorn sauce because currently we're having this steak dry um, so yeah that's tonight's agenda today I did go to the local gym for the first time just to check it out and do a bit of a workout so that was cool and um, I did quite like it and it's in like a it's in a decent space and um, easy enough to drive to there's parking and uh, yeah all the machines that I like to use so I did a good cardio sesh to some treadmill, some elliptical or cross trainer, I don't know what you guys call it, and a bit of the rowing machine. So I am ready to go. Um, and we're going to have this lovely dinner with, um, we're going to be watching Married at First Sight UK. So if you guys are in the UK, or if you're not, and watching Married at First Sight UK, comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on the couples. Um, some of my favourites. Um, are Taya and Adam because I think they got the pairing very right on that and um, but I feel like they just did everybody else really dirty so yeah anywho I'm gonna stop rambling on here welcome to moving vlog number four if you are not already subscribed please do I don't know what's gonna be happening in this vlog but it'll probably just be some casual house updates and yeah that's that I'm gonna get cooking
one piece season so i'm just going to plate this and then do the next one the camera cut off while you guys were watching so i'm gonna have to show you how i did this one and my good sis over here is just tenderizing her safe so when i get to that point i'm gonna play the video again but for now we're still stuck on seasoning um, one to the side and so i just use a bit of olive oil black pepper salt, salt. That one. so i'm going to do the same for this one and these are quite this is going to be mister's piece these are very lead bits of ribeye I guess you put the olive oil on to like pick up the seasoning. I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go along. They said use a lot of salt, so don't at me. <laughs> um, black pepper. And we're not going to over season because the ribeye itself has a lot of flavour already so it's not needed just salt and pepper i feel like i see so here's better i'm just gonna rub that in and then pop it over to the side if you are a vegetarian i recommend you don't watch this video <laughs> I just dried this chopping board again because I feel like it's pretty good for presenting the steak once it's cooked. So I'm just going to leave that there for later. I'm going to put the potatoes on so they can start getting mashed. What if I put them on? Take this off here. Um, so those are probably going to take the longest. So. Once they are um, coming to a boil, then I will start cooking the steaks and putting the asparagus onto steam. So, the potatoes, as you can see, are bubbling. So, we're going to let those bubble a little bit more while I cook the steaks. So, hopefully, my timing is going to be impeccable.
more than ready. Let me mash those. So I didn't make loads of potatoes because three of us. So in there I'm gonna put some almond milk. steaks are looking. I'm going to cut into them to see if they are. Nice yeah, cook. guys here it is um, mashed potato well done steak hopefully steamed asparagus and a little bit of our special gravy we're gonna get to eating good evening guys it is a casual Friday and I have just made my first ever cottage pie I've just um, put some forks for it I'm going to put it in the oven to bake for about 15 minutes and hopefully it'll be done ratio didn't quite work but I'm very happy with my top um, so yeah we're gonna eat that for dinner tonight and probably throughout the week um, once we finish all the mash on the top we will probably <laughs> just use the mince for like a chili because I had some kidney beans in here yeah we'll do that right dinner time happy tuesday guys we are off to celebrate our two-year anniversary i'm wearing this zara top mango skirt asos boots zara blazer and my hand just looks like that <laughs> So extra, but I know I'm the same. Yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like, oh my, all good all day, but the night we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day. 